we will continue our discussion on reciprocating pump and this session we will exclusively dedicate for indicator diagram of a reciprocating pump indicator diagrams as you can see in this diagram is a simple rectangle drawn on a 2d plot where pressure head is plotted against the stroke length stroke length you know the the distance from inner dead center to outer dead center we indicate by capital L which is equal to twice the crank radius and basically what is indicator diagram how do you define that it is actually 2d representation of the variation of pressure head of liquid inside the cylinder during one working cycle of a reciprocating pump variation of pressure head of liquid in the cylinder during one working cycle of a reciprocating pump that is one working cycle is completed in one revolution of the crank that is one uh, revolution comprises of a suction stroke and a delivery stroke in the case of a single acting reciprocating pump you know so we are now plotting for the 360 degree revolution of the crank what is the pressure variation of the liquid that is happening within the reciprocating pump cylinder so just consider this point a a is actually the beginning of suction stroke and if we plot here the uh, plot the cylinder over here then you can see that this is the cylinder this is the idc when theta is equal to 0 and then theta is equal to 180 this is uh, outer dead center positions and this is in between so at the beginning of the suction stroke suction stroke is proceeding in this direction in this direction and delivery stroke uh, see as indicated it is from right to left so just consider the movement of the piston from inner dead center towards out, outer dead center. See, theoretically speaking or ideally, the pressure head in the cylinder of liquid entering the cylinder is assumed to be constant at a vacuum that is indicated by this height level. So, from the zero level, this is this much height. But from, uh, you know that it is vacuum. So, it is below atmospheric. So, atmospheric pressure head, see that is uh, shown as a reference for that. So, important thing for you to notice this, the atmospheric pressure head, let it be this level. What is this height? This is HATM and HATM is uh, in terms of meters of water column. It is 10.33 uh, meters of water, you know. So, the suction pressure or suction pressure head will be at this level ideally. There is no variation shown over here. We Last class, we found out the variation of uh, frictional head loss. And that we didn't, we don't incorporate in this. This diagram is ideal without considering the effect of friction and effect of acceleration of liquid. So ac ac acceleration of liquid will come to that later. So this uh, this is actually your HS. HS is vacuum suction suction head, which is vacuum. And above atmospheric, above the zero level, you can write uh, this. This is H, and this one is uh, stroke length. Okay, then theta is equal to 0 is here and theta is equal to 180, theta is equal to 180 here and in the middle this is theta is equal to 90 and it is constant at this level. So, what is actually happening at the end of the suction stroke? At the end of the suction stroke as I explained in the theory of working of reciprocating pump momentarily being an incompressible liquid the pressure rises from this point to all the way from here vacuum side to here. And this level, of course, of course, you know, this this height is your HD. So now the pressure, absolute pressure level at this point, if you consider this as A, this is B, and this point is C, then at C is H atmosphere plus HD. And here, this height is from here to here, this height is, this height is HS. So HD is the gauge pressure and the absolute pressure, if you want to speak about, HATM plus HD. And ideally, this will continue. This will continue till the discharge is complete. So, discharge is complete and the discharge will be complete at this point, say D, at the middle, it's here, middle of the delivery stroke, it's here, theta is equal to again 90. See, important thing to notice and on account of negative sign, you can write theta is equal to 0 in this case here and theta is equal to 180 for delivery stroke here on account of negative sign. Otherwise, it is 180 to 360 for the crank revolution. So, this is the delivery stroke and this is the lower one is the pressure variation during the suction stroke and in between our main reference is 
It is 